welcome back to my channel i'm Bree. so today we'll be talking about finding out your boyfriend is married and what you can do i've seen several posts on reddit quora where someone said they found out that their boyfriend was married and they're thinking of telling the wife and they have friends that tell them oh go ahead and tell the wife like we have to protect her from this person that her husband is and so he doesn't do it to someone else and blah 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 so while all these things may sound helpful i just feel it's i feel it's, it's not helpful honestly i think it's not helpful because first you're upset that this person has hurt you in some kind of way or somehow you just feel kind of defeated that you are not the first that you you're, you're not his first choice there's someone else there so finding out that you're not the main person would make you angry it's only normal you will get angry and some of us like to revenge retaliate whatever word you want to use and that's what will push somebody to want to call the wife of their boyfriend or their affair partner so in this video we're going to talk about why you shouldn't do it because i feel like it's it's just a waste of time I'm married and if somebody and if my husband is doing something like that i would know because there's, there's how much you know your partner like if they're cheating you'll start seeing signs and at some point you'll find out if something is happening or not so just saying that you want to inform the wife you 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 don't know her like that you don't know if she already knows you don't know the kind of marriage you have because believe me people have all sorts of different kinds of marriages out there so let's talk about why it's not a good idea to call the to call his wife okay let's talk about things to not do three things to not do when you discover your boyfriend is married don't contact his wife like i said at the beginning some people will convince you to call his wife but really there's no point in doing that because if you call her it looks like one of these looks like you're mad and your mother you're the side piece and you want to ruin his marriage like you want to ruin their marriage because you discover that he has somebody that he places up there above you so the wife will think that you just want to that, that you want to ruin her marriage so you can have her husband some people do that they'll call you and say oh your partner is cheating with me and blah 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 and then you just and 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 the, and the person just leaves the marriage like oh you're cheating and leave the marriage and then this outside person comes into the marriage and takes over and god knows what yes i know nobody can steal somebody's husband it's a husband that wants to be stolen that will be stolen so let's keep that aside but that's what it is sometimes like oh you want to take my partner that's why you're telling me all this story and then the wife might just ignore you completely three the 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 man will believe that you are hurt the wife will believe that you are hurt and you're just trying to you're, and you're just seeking revenge you just want to hurt him and believe me i i, I think that's that's one of it. I think that's what that's what it is. And only few people, only few people will think that you have the wife's best interest at heart, of which you don't know the wife to to have her best interest at heart. So that's why it's not a good idea to contact his wife. Also, you must understand that marriages are different. Like I said, maybe his wife already knows what he's doing and she's fine with it. Because people have different priorities when it comes to marriage. So some people marry for a stable home like oh there's everything is provided and we're fine i heard some guy talking back then uh, about how his wife is fine as long as there's power there's food there's whatever all those basic things that they need in the home as long as those things are in the house his wife is fine so he can i don't know do whatever he wants and so calling his wife to to tell her these things is just i'm not saying i'm not saying this is your mission i'm not saying this is what you're trying to do but i'm just saying that it's like trying to break something that she feels is already stable or something. Also think about the family, the children. If the, if the home is going to break eventually, the home, the home will break eventually. But don't be the reason. So yeah, just like stay out of that. And also she might not need, she might not need your help. Like she might not want to know any of it. She might not want to know if her husband is because some people prefer to not know. God knows what she's thinking. So you don't know her like that. So stop thinking that. You're trying to help her you're not trying to help her in any way so don't call his wife anonymously when you discover that the, uh, that your boyfriend is married or that, that, that her husband is cheating with you because trying to tell her 
anonymously it's just it's just too much trouble also you go on facebook or social whatever social media you prefer you choose mm -hmm. you go there you create an account and then you, you search and you look for his wife and then you start sending her anonymous messages and telling her that oh my, my your husband is cheating with me and blah 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 and and then you start tormenting her and it just it just feels it just feels like too much work and again it shows that you're going all out to hurt this guy it's not because you're trying to protect his wife so let's just be honest there so don't let your emotions drive your actions you it i be, i agree with you i agree with you that you're upset and whatever but just let it go it's one of those things move on cut him off don't put yourself in an awkward situation put your big girl pants on okay so don't you don't need all that drama like i don't like drama in my life like if i'm in that position there's no way i'll contact somebody's wife and start telling them oh this is what 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 like no i'm not i'm not interested i don't like that drama she might even blame me for seducing her husband or trying to steal her husband these things can get these things can get ugly quickly so just remove yourself from that drama put your big girl pants on and let it go now let's talk about things that you can do instead of telling his wife things that you can do when you discover that your boyfriend has a family your boyfriend is married one break up with him it's not difficult when you dis discover that some that this person you are dating that you like has a family just let him know that you know he has a family and you're not interested in dating him and then you move on from that you don't let it get more complicated than that yes you'll be hurt well but just let him know that you know and then you can break up and move on so you need to know that it's not your job to protect his wife from her husband or and and, and your friends might encourage you to tell her so she can leave him all that is just you going out just to punish him that's 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 just what it is i'm sorry but that's just what it is so your, your friends your friends might encourage you or oh, call his wife tell his wife so she will leave him they will they want his wife to punish him or let him suffer for his sins so he won't deceive another girl in the future but it's not your job to do any of that or tell her how to handle the situation because unless she doesn't know her husband very well most people know they know when their partners are cheating on them so just leave them alone whatever is going to happen in their marriage will happen eventually if she's going to leave she's going to leave she's not going to leave she's not going to leave so you don't need to protect her three block him everywhere when you find out that you're beside this after you after you break up with him block him block his number and if if it comes if it comes to you changing your contact you can change your contact do everything you can to remove yourself from that situation and if you know if he knows where you live let him know that he's not welcome and if he has an ounce of respect for himself he will get the message and worst case scenario it might get to the point where he doesn't want to leave you alone and he just wants to see you maybe he's in love with you or maybe he's this he's some pe pe people that take this thing so personal and get so hurt that you dump them or something and if you and he doesn't want to let you go he wants to threaten you he wants to be in your life by all means it has happened to a lot of people so threaten to inform the police and because involving police will escalate the matter he would either back down of which he should back down but don't threaten him face to face it can be it can be very risky don't threaten him face to face whatever you do remember it's best to call the cops before you consider calling his wife and also remember your friends who are encouraging you to call his wife will abandon you when things go south so call the cops five you know it has happened it has happened so cut your losses and move on Hopefully he will stop bugging you. Now it's time for you to know that okay, you made a mistake, you were deceived, and you realized quickly and you moved away from the situation. It hurts, but you'll be okay. Stay with your friends and family to help you deal with the whole heartbreak, disappointment, whatever. So whether you tell his wife or not, she'll eventually find out. That that's if she doesn't already know and has no problem with it. There are lots of women that are that are fine with their partners living with other people they, they've seen it they know it and like i said they have other priorities or things are in the house or there's food in the house there's power in the house there's wi-fi there's whatever the kids are fed the kids the kids are closing the kids are taken care of she's taken care of some women are fine with that i'm not saying that's the ideal but i'm just saying that some, some women are fine with that so you calling her it's just telling her things something that she already knows 
and, and partners that know each other. When either partner is cheating on the other person, they will know eventually because you would see signs. And if your partner is cheating on you and you're not seeing any signs, <laughs> it's kind of crazy because then maybe you don't you don't know them like that, or maybe you're not that invested in the relationship to not see a difference in the way they act. Because yeah, you you know. Then seven, when you're ready, I'm not saying you should jump into this, but after you've caught your losses and you've healed from that whole relationship with this married guy that was cheating on his wife and blah blah blah. If you are still ready to go into the relationship world, then you can find someone that is worth your time and try dating again. And who knows what will happen from there. So, when, when you are moving into a new relationship, one of the reasons I said to not tell his wife is that it will keep you from moving on. Because you'll be mad that you told his wife. His, his wife might try to contact you several times, which you don't want. You don't want to deal with all that drama. And that triangle just keeps going on and going and it's just exhausting which would give you a longer time to move on so that's why i'm saying you should move yourself from that situation heal and then if you're ready to date again you can go back into the dating market and hopefully find someone better so moving forward after discovering that your boyfriend is married it might be hard to trust someone else but like i said take your time don't but don't take forever so next time you meet someone ask questions so i know some people will still lie about who they are but i hope you find a good honest person and maybe in the early stages of the relationship maybe that's where you should check their social media and see if they have a family which some people don't put their families there but whatever you need to find out about them find out in that early stage and <laughs> find out in that early stage so you know if this person is dead if this person is married or if this person is if, if this person is in a committed relationship and then you know if you want to be there or not that's all i have to say about this so should you call your your should you call your boyfriend's wife when you find out he's married my answer is no don't get yourself in that situation it's rubbish it's complicated it's just something it's not helping it's not going to it's not going to help anyone it's not going to help me it's not going to help you it's not going to help his wife and it's of, of which it just it just smells revenge oh i just want to, it stinks of revenge that's that's just what it, it just thinks of revenge like oh you're so angry and you want to hurt him back that's all it is so i don't think i don't think it's a wise thing to do you like i said again your friends will encourage you that will call his wife and do this 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 but what if the wife already knows some wives know so so that's all I have to say for this topic. If you find it helpful, please let me know in the comments and please share it, like it, and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.